Okay. He's gonna jam. He's gonna jam though. Yeah, get out of the way. Uh, oh, yeah. Well. All right, so. Red is uh, second shot. He's gonna leave this. He's gonna leave that one alone in the back. Alone. Try to. If you were gonna be his house a little bit. If you were gonna be aggressive here, wouldn't you come around the the corner guard instead of playing in the center? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely Just come around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, I've ever done that. All right, so. March Telly's got a little questionable strategy, but it's curling a lot, so he yeah. may get it around the guard anyway. Yeah, I might start he sweeping. Sweep it. Yeah. He's waiting to get around that cor that guard. I guess he did want to get around the guard. Oh, whoa. Wow. Crashed the guard and left uh, left a rock out in front. So, Last I checked, we were up to 46 viewers. Thanks for tuning in. Again, it's a 72nd uh, Dykes tournament. What is it? 72nd? 72nd. This is tournaments are running for 72 years? I don't even know if it's annual. It could be, they could have been skipped for wars or something. I'm so not even do sure. do you know the history behind Francis Dykes? I don't. I don't. Ah. No. So you're going to have to find that out. Justin TV is currently overloaded right now. Wow, I can't even log into my own site. <laughs> wow, we have overloaded the servers with 46 viewers. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully it's just uh, our internet connection here, but we'll see. All right, so I'm not going to be able to respond to chat. Maybe you'll have to answer each other or go to the Team Calibri's Facebook page. That might be a little easier right now. If you go there, uh, leave us a message there. That's the easiest way. I do have that up and running, so you can uh, give us a question. All right, so we've got Jason Scott now who is going to come around that center guard that was just uh, tossed. They gotta be careful. This is diving in this spot. You better get on this better soon. Sweep it. They're gonna crash the guard here too. Wow, that is just turning hard. Really curling. Boy, what I wouldn't have given for this ice at played out. Where it actually curled. It would have been nice. Yeah, you guys why, had a little bit of straight why ice. Why did didn't that? You? Why, well, what happened there? Why was that so straight? I don't know. You need to talk to the ice man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, March Telly's marching down now. He's going to get a chance to take up uh, this rock in the back if he wants to. It looks, it looks like he's coming around the center guard again, though. Joe, did you really just say marching? Yes. <laughs> just checking. I did. March Telly is marching, yes. <laughs> that was intentional. So is this a um, an honor to win this? I mean, is it bragging rights in the Grand National? Yes. Uh, as we were talking about on the pregame show, no team from Rochester has ever won the first event. Really? No, a couple teams so have come close. We, we were runner-up in the first event. Runner-up. And so was Mark Mooney. Okay. Um, we had a team win the second event last year, right? But never the first event. So we have high hopes. We have nine teams from Rochester. Okay. So Who is the uh, dominant? Is there a dominant club? Um, well... Is it go back and forth. Uh, you know, uh, Sean Murray, I think, won it twice, and we've got uh, Melville has won it once, and I think runner-up another time. Jason Bryan from Utica has won it. He's here, back. All right, so that rack uh, stops a little behind the tee. There's a chance to hit and roll here. Or, you got to uh, watch the jam. Yeah, you got to watch the jam. This is uh, going to be this tricky. It's a tricky shot. He's elected just to breeze to it. Yeah. How's he throwing It's probably here? a good idea to freeze to this because it probably takes three out of play if you get it anywhere in the house. But if he were to jam, three would be there for yeah, sure. Yeah. So you, you have to you have to play this draw. So I think they're doing a uh, web webcast of the finals at Nationals. So you yeah. guys will have to uh, critique that. We were co we, I was talking to Terry, who's the communication director sure. for the USA, okay. the USA, and she wants to talk to us after everything is over. I think they're trying to upgrade what they're doing there. Sweet. Sweet. After the what is Sweet. over? After Nationals is over. Uh -huh. Maybe for next year. Maybe we'll something. 
All right, so that winds up a little short. Uh, three really probably not possible. He's talking about promoting here. So what is that little... Uh, well, now they're going to go with the draw. <laughs> so That's where uh, they wanted Steve, to end uh, up. But yeah. as you can see, they ended up a little short. Not quite made it to the house yet. So do you guys know if you have non-curlers watching or is it basically just curlers? You know, that's a good question. What we ought to do is ask people to kind of load into the chat page where they're, where yeah. they're from. If they have any questions. If they're curlers. If they're curlers. Yeah, I mean, we're sort of assuming you have some curling knowledge as we're talking about it. But if you don't, let us know. This has got to turn. This one is not turning, which is strange. They put a little more weight on it. A little more weight, and you be. You yeah. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow. I think it's too red. Too red. Too red. So Marchitelli uh, takes two and uh, has so closed the gap to three to two. Yeah, that all started with the uh, corner guard that wasn't peeled. That's right. That's <laughs> See? You're <laughs> absolutely <laughs> right. But they, if they peel that, they're playing to give up two anyway, right? Uh, true. Yeah, true. so that's not so bad. Yes. Um, All right. I'm going to be relieved now by right. Mike Mengel. Caitlin, thanks for stepping in. Thanks yes, for doing the interview. Guys, We're thanks for doing this because it's anything that helps promote curling is good. Well, you have something to watch when you get to Fargo. <laughs> oh, I won't miss your Wednesday night game. <laughs> 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 Thanks a lot, Caitlin, for stepping in for us when we were short. Now we're short again because Mike Mengel is stepping in. And if for those of you who know Mike, he's short. Oh, I'm sorry. Correction. Melville has won the first event twice. Thank you. Uh, we got uh, somebody who's a curler by marriage. And uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know what else is going on here. Who's broadcasting the late game? We are broadcasting the late game ourselves again. Uh, we're going to be here today. I'll be back tomorrow. Brian will be here on Friday. Uh, we're going to leave the uh, equipment here. And during the day, we may have some games uh, that other people broadcast. But uh, we're your feature team. Okay. All right. So we have the center guard up uh, by Marchitelli. Ron Turk is being asked to come around that. We're in the third end, so we need a third end sponsor. All right, Mike, do you do you like the MMA? Uh, I'll watch it occasionally. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't seek it out to catch the UFC or the other MMA events. But well, you're gonna love the latest thing in mixed martial arts. Uh, this end is being brought you brought to you by Jake Cutler's Tough Man Competition. Hurt knees won't stop these guys from kicking your teeth in. Jay Cutler's Tough Man Competition coming this spring. Let's get back to the action. All right, so Jason Scott has uh, had Ron Turk throw around that uh, center guard. They're in the back of the forefoot. March is going to try to follow it down. Ah, uh, Jeremy. Does that mean I have that? He's asking, does he have to come in? Yes, that means you have to come in, Jeremy. We need you here. You're our social media guru. I'm having to do two jobs here. All right, so great freeze by uh, Derek. Come, it came down. Now uh, Ron Turk is being asked to come down on top of it again. The line looks great. Looks a little outside. Well, they're sweeping it, so they... The rock has been diving once it hits the, the uh, hog line. And they're on it again. They're off it. So here it comes. Look at that turn. This is going to be pretty good. A little deep. Not bad, though. Not bad. Second shot. Yep. All right, so Marchitelli is going to uh, hit and roll on the outturn side. 
This is going to be the straight side, so I can see this working. Oh, he, I think he might have tweaked it. I yep. think he tweaked it. It's gonna f looks like it's going to flash. Yeah, he's definitely flashing. They can get off of this now. Yeah, a little frustration on Mark Evans' part. Uh, he tweaked it right out of his hand, and it, you could see it, if even from behind, that that, was, that had really no chance. Gave it the Joe Calabrese flip. Yes, Chris, that is the Mengel-type delivery, yes. Chris Benway checking in. I thought you were supposed to be uh, with your wife right now. Where are you that you're able to do this? Should we say uh, happy birthday to his wife? Yeah, happy birthday, Aaron Donnelly. Aaron, who I work with at Hillside. All right, so uh, after uh, the flash that gives... Uh, Jason, another chance to come in and freeze on that rock. This one looks just about the same as the last one, to be honest with you. It might be a little heavier. Might get a tap freeze. Okay, so... so it's shot now. Now it's shot rock. So Mark Shelley's going to have to deal with it. He's t talking about a draw into the pocket, which is sort of odd, but... We've been questioning a lot of Steve's calls, but it, you know he's got he's got to take into account his team's strengths, and he just saw a flash on a takeout. So and it looks like Evans was inside again. Yeah, they're hammering it. Boy, it's turning a lot. He must do something on his delivery where he turns it turn it turns it over on his out turn. What's the web, uh, uh, KER822, what's the webcast schedule as far as teams go? Well, uh, tonight we have Graziano versus, we thought it was going to be Powers, but they've changed the, uh, the draw, so it's going to be Pinter. I'm not even sure where Pinter's from. We weren't prepared for that. We'll have to adjust on the fly. But uh, then it really just depends on who wins and loses. We can't tell you who we're going to be broadcasting tomorrow. Uh, it'll be a B event game. Uh, we know that. Um, but uh, it'll really depend on uh, who wins and loses. We may know a little bit better uh, after the late games tonight, but I, what we'll probably want to do is go to, uh, yeah, check out uh, our Team Calabrese Facebook page, and we'll announce uh, when we know who we're going to be showing. Okay, uh, Eric Schmidt comes down again into the pile. And he's got uh, four rocks in the forefoot now. Unfortunately, only one is shot. Yeah. One is counting. I might have tried to see if we could do something to take out their stone to try to go for a multi-point end. But Chris uh, is asking if we can do 7 a.m. Friday morning. Uh, Chris, we're, uh, the equipment's going to be here, so if you want to set it up and let it run and have somebody uh, announce your game, you're more than willing to do it. But I'm not waking up at 7 in the morning to... Just to uh, broadcast your game, I can tell you that. <laughs> your team had a rough go of it today, just to let you know. Uh, just so you know, uh, Walter Milenko, uh they got crushed in the in the game on this sheet prior to this. It was uh, they had a chance in the fourth end. Uh, they were down two and had a chance to draw for one, but wound up giving up four, and that really ended the game. Although they played all the way through the eighth. It, it, they were chasing a lot after that fourth end. Now it looks like they're, they are going to go for the hit. Try to clear things up a little. What are they hitting? Yep. Oh, all right. So they're going to try to... Try and sit the... Uh, at least pick it out, in, maybe? Yeah. They're hitting the guard, though. He's all over the guard. At least they're opening it up. Yeah. Marchitelli's playing with fire, though. If he don't do something and guard that stone on the... Uh, oh, they are. They're putting up a guard now. Yeah, they got to guard that stone. Uh, DVIX, will the draw on the website be updated on a regular basis? 
uh, or is there someplace else to find the results? We aren't sure right now. I haven't heard. We'll have to yeah, ask maybe the, uh, uh, we can ask. Do, you know if, do we know if the driver?